Hello children, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn EVS 1. Chapter 9, Air. Can you tell what are the people in the pictures doing? Now try this. Take water in a big container. Take a small narrow container. Hold it upside down on the surface of the water. And without tilting it, push it down into the water. Now allow it to tilt. What do you see? Bubbles rise at once to the top. What does this tell us? Air is lighter than water. So air bubbles rises to the top as soon as the container is tilted. It means that there was air even in the container that appeared to be empty. There is air all around us. It is present even in places that appear to be empty. Then how far around us does air spread? Try this. Take large sheet of any waste paper or obtain old newspapers of about one month and up tear each of the sheets into four pieces. Now, place these sheets of paper one at a time in a pile on the floor. As the pile grows, observe the differences that can, can be seen in the layers of paper at the top of the pile and those near the floor. When all the sheets have been placed, observe the differences in upper and lower layers of the papers. What do you see? As we place more and more papers in the pile, the sheet at the lower level are pressed down by the sheets above them. The distance between the papers in the lower part of the pile becomes less while the papers in the upper part appears to be further apart. What does this tell us? The nearer a sheet of paper is to the floor, the greater is the number of papers above it. It means that the lower layers bear more weight than the upper layers of paper. Compared to that, the upper layer bears less weight. Similarly, uh, similarly, the atmosphere is like an envelope. The earth on which we live is round in shape like a ball. There is air all around, around the earth. This covering of air around the earth is called the atmosphere. As we go farther from the earth, the layer of the air becomes thinner. That is, the layer of air closest to the earth are very close to each other, while the ones at higher levels are not so close. The air at greater heights is rare. Now try this. Take a slight deep dish like a saucer. Stand a candle at its center. Fill water in the dish. Light the candle. Now place a glass tumbler over the candle. What do you see? Soon the candle goes out and the level of water inside the tumbler rises up to a certain level. Why does this happen? One of the constituent of air helps burning. As it gets used up, water rises in the tumbler. When that constituent is finished, the candle goes off. The water level too stops rising. This constituent of air that helps burning is called oxygen gas. The earth's atmosphere is made up of air. The circle in which the air, the picture shows all the air in the atmosphere. If we divide the circle into five equal parts, then the oxygen in the air will be equal to one of the parts. Apart from oxygen, there are other gases in the atmosphere. Which could those be? The oxygen in the air is used both for burning as well as respiration. Which are the other uses of air you know about? You have learned that the gas that fizzes out of soda water is carbon dioxide. This gas is present in small quantities in air too. You have also learned that plants make their food using air and water in the presence of sunlight. When the plants make their food, they use the carbon dioxide from the air. You have seen that when you place ice in a glass, and it becomes very cold. Droplets of water settles on its outside. It means that water too is present in air in the form of a gas. However, the largest part of air is made up of still other kind of gas. 
this gas is called nitrogen thus there are several gases present in air in other words air is a mixture of several gases now if we draw a circle to represent air then the quantity of each gas is the mixture while b as shown alongside do you know the burning that takes place in factories vehicles stoves in kitchens etc gives out smokes this smoke too mixes with the air around us what we have learned air is present all around us even in place that appears to be empty there is a covering of air all, all around the earth it is called the atmosphere the layer of air in the atmosphere close to the earth are pressed closer to each other while the upper layers are rare air is a mixture of several gases oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and water vapor are its main constituents always remember fuel like coal petrol diesel give out smoke while burning which mixes with the air this can cause ill health with this i end my chapter thanks for watching